Hello my lovelies and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. It has been the longest time since I have filmed and I'm very excited to be back today with a new YouTube video for you guys. For today's video I thought I would do a sit down, let's talk, girls chat, kind of like let's get real here kind of video. I've come to the realisation that with this platform and this voice that I have I want to be there to help in any way, shape or form that I can, whether it's to do with makeup or advice. Like, I know that my audience is largely female based, so like, I just think that it would be nice to have a little sit down, like, let's chat, girls talk kind of video. So about a week ago now, I asked you guys to ask me on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I'll leave it somewhere here. Um, anyway, I asked you guys to ask me things on Instagram about situations you guys might be in and some things that you might need advice about. You guys sent me in a bunch of things that are really interesting topics for me to talk about and give my advice and thoughts and opinions on. Yes, let's just jump into some of the things that you guys sent me. First one is how to keep motivation while studying. Some days I struggle to even make it to class. Honestly, I have totally experienced this while I I have started my first semester at uni. If you guys didn't know, I'm in my first year of university. A lot of people actually ask me what degree I'm studying. I'm doing communications degree, so it is a management degree and majoring in marketing for all of you that were asking me. When it comes to motivating yourself, you need to think about how good you're gonna feel after you accomplish that goal of yours. So like even making a to-do list and actually getting through them and ticking through all of the things that you need to do, I find really helped me to like motivate myself to do things because you just feel so much better once you've actually like finished what you know you need to. Sometimes it just honestly takes putting away your phone for a while to get something done and then you'll feel so much better after you do it, honestly. It's like when you go to the gym and you know you're gonna feel so much better afterwards, like you just have to force yourself to get there. But once you're there, you can't really like turn around and go back. It's just a matter of finding what works for you and what your balance is. Girl code, or if there is a difference between a girl and boy code. Hmm. Now, this is one topic that I was actually asked about quite often because girl code seems to be a big thing. If you're a girl, you kind of should just know girl code. I think that girl code and boy code is very similar in some aspects. I think there is definitely like an unwritten girl code and boy code, like in your friendship group, you know what boundaries not to step over. Um, and that is just like common sense almost. Like there's no point in going for a guy over losing one of your best friends. Like what, what planet, like why? I think they're very similar in that way. It's the same with like a guy, like you should never go for a girl if you know you're gonna lose a best mate over it or if you're gonna get into a fight with a best mate over it. Like it's just not worth it. Don't overstep your boundaries that you know you have um, because it's wrong and it's not nice. I don't know how I feel about one of my friends. She can be nice, then mean, slash rude. <sighs> Do you have a friend that is like that and who um, is a bit temperamental in that way. I would keep them at arm's length for sure. It's not worth the times when they like put you down or be mean and rude to you. Like it's, it makes you feel a certain way about yourself. It's a matter of figuring out if you really need that person in your life. Like they should, they are not a true friend if they are mean and rude to you. Like friendship should be like this, you know, like got your back, not off and on, you know? Friends having a bad day doesn't mean you need to be the punching bag, but sometimes I do understand. Sometimes it just, it just happens. But like, if they're constantly like off and on, mean and rude, and then nice the next day, then maybe just sit them down and have a chat, and then if things don't improve from there, then you need to think about if you need them in your life. How do you deal? Oh my gosh. <laughs> How do you deal with friends having a crush on your boyfriend? Hun, you don't. If your friends have a crush on your boyfriend and you know about it, then that's like girl code gone. I can understand appreciating someone for their looks, but not in a sense that it's like they have a full on crush on your boyfriend. That's not right, that's overstepping like 
girl code, you know? If they were doing it in an inappropriate sense, I would say talk to them about it. Like, communication is key, honestly. Like, communicating with them about how it makes you feel when they're saying this stuff about your boyfriend. At the day though, if it's a little crush and you're happy and secure in your relationship, then it shouldn't matter. But in saying that, it's like girl code as well. So I do get where you're coming from. That's that, like crush on him or not, he's mine. I don't know. I honestly thought I was gonna be way better at giving advice, but I feel like I'm just not. <laughs> advice on how to move on from someone. Definitely just keeping yourself busy, hanging out with friends, like keep yourself occupied in a way that will benefit you and make you happy and just like help you progress and move on and realizing that like your life can be fulfilled without that person. When you and your boyfriend break up and he still wants you around but won't commit. Obviously when you have a breakup or handle a breakup, it's not going to be easy. You probably still want the other person around. I would say, this may sound stupid, but it kind of depends on your situation. Like, if he wants you around and you still want him around, I think you guys need to take some time in order to figure things out. And while you're doing that, maybe lay down some ground rules. Because if you have enough respect for each other, then you'll commit to those ground rules at least in order to figure out what you both want otherwise it's just gonna mislead you and it's gonna mislead him and then you might get false hope and if he's not committing then you might get hurt so I currently have a random work roster so I don't have a weekly routine what would you do so actually when I used to work in hospitality quite a while ago I did have a random work roster it would literally come out no joke the day before the week that I was working but it did take a toll on my overall lifestyle and it was so incredibly annoying and frustrating it's honestly just a matter of planning your days like around your work roster and making sure that you get everything accomplished that you want to Honestly, having a calendar and jotting down dates is the most helpful thing ever because it is really hard to get yourself into a set routine when you know you're not gonna have one so just set yourself like a schedule um, every time you get your roster of like what you're gonna do in the upcoming week in order to like get what you need to done but also not have it clash with your work hours if that makes sense. Okay so someone sent me quite a long one in like my DMs so I'm kind of just gonna read over the main parts of it for you guys um, and then kind of talk about this topic because I know it's like quite a big one. The thing I want to be spoken about is gossip and drama. It's so common in high school and university, it's actually unbelievable. It clearly goes on to say how people can control what they say and the words that they say can really affect and have an impact on other people's health and like mental state. I like, I'm a girl. Don't get me wrong, I love a good little bit of like harmless banter and tea and like gossip here and there. But sometimes, even myself, I do need to stop and think like, is this information going to hurt someone else? And then sometimes I also do think like, wow, I wish I never had heard that because that other person, if they knew that I knew, it would just be rubbish. I think in this day and age, especially in high schools, there is just so much drama and I don't think we ever realise how much we are hurting the other person by talking about it or like adding to the fire. I think a lot of it is to do with maturity and age and I hope that people learn from their mistakes and kind of just grow out of the drama phase, like grow out of the gossip. Some things are just not meant to be said and I even struggle with that myself like sometimes I know I'm not supposed to say something and I do thinking that that person's not going to tell anyone and then it just spreads like wildfire so then it gets you in trouble and then that's your fault so you never realize how much it's going to hurt or affect someone until it's you that person in that position because it does take a toll on people's mentality. Cheap meals, etc. I'm going flatting soon and I'm unsure on budgeting for meals. 
Oh, this is actually a really good question. I know flatting and stuff, I can imagine it would be quite hard. Just make sure that you're budgeting and make sure you're buying food that you know will be nutritional and filling and just like stuff that you genuinely need rather than just chucking stuff in your cart that you know you're not gonna need. Even like online plans or online programs, meal prepping and whatnot, like, um, are really helpful these days. And just reach for the things that are more nutritional for you and that you know, like, you'll actually eat. That's personally what I would do anyway, like put your money towards stuff that you know you're going to eat and that you know will be good for you and make you feel good rather than just buying a bunch of chocolate you're going to be like why did I get that and like I regret it, why did I spend my money on that kind of thing, you know what I mean? Um, someone also said to me how, how do you become so confident in what you do? People in this town take the piss out of others a lot. Yeah, they do. You honestly just have to believe in what you do. Like. If you love it and you're passionate about it, it doesn't matter what other people have to say. There's always going to be a small minority of people who are just against what you do because they're jealous or they couldn't be as confident as you to do what you love. And it's just not their thing sometimes, which is totally fine because we're all different in that way. Only the positive feedback is relevant to me. Like the negative stuff just is like, eh. You know, just gotta brush it off. It's like with anything, you just gotta brush it off, who cares? Those people don't know you well enough anyway, so. Okay, this is the last one I'm going to be addressing because I know it is going to be quite a big one. This person also sent me it in the DM because it was quite long. They couldn't fit it into like the question and answer box in Instagram. So basically, I'm not gonna say the whole thing because it's quite long, but basically she's saying her and her ex, who is very toxic towards her, they argue, but they still talk. Um, and they've been dating for about four months. We still argue, he pulls me up over little things. Um, she goes on to say that some days are great, that he's loving, and then other days it's toxic, I'm scared to find love again, and how bad it's been. Being cheated on for a year and a half and also being hurt for eight months now, this help, what do I do? If you know deep down in your heart that the relationship you are in is in any way, shape or form toxic, get out. As fast as you can, get out of there. Because you know deep down in your heart that it is not going to get any better. And the days that are going on, you are misleading yourself and you are hurting yourself. Because at the end of the day, those loving days that you have with that person, once you are out of that relationship, you are never gonna look back and go, oh my God, remember those loving days? You're only ever going to remember the rubbish parts of the relationship that make you regret ever being in it. I know it is hard to get out because love has such a hold on you, but you are only gonna beat yourself up for being with them longer when you look back at it in the past. Do not let this relationship take a part of you. Do not let it become a regret in your life. It will stay with you and it's not worth it. It is not worth it. You should only ever learn things from relationships. I know some will be better than others sometimes, but do not let it become a regret, only let it become a lesson. This is another topic I got asked about, but being cheated on is a indescribable feeling unless it has happened to you yourself. That feeling that you get that it hits the pit of your stomach and it's not nice. And then I think people need to think about their loyalties to their partners before stuff like this happens, you know? Obviously I'm not talking about the relationship I am in now. This is before when I was young and stupid and naive and I let someone take a lot away from me. Um, and I was stupid and it was a big regret in my life and I wish I could take it all back to this day but I want to let you guys know never let that happen to you like I want to be there to help to stop that from happening to you because if I can just help one of you out there or this girl who is asking me this don't be scared of not being able to find love again that is not true love if it is toxic it's not true love you have so much time you have the world to explore there is literally millions of guys on this earth. If you are in this type of relationship, you are not found love. You will find someone. Do not be scared. Have some time to yourself to be alone and appreciate what you have and what you have to give to someone else in the future. And I know how horrible it can be to your mental state and just like get out of there. Goodbye, boy, bye. Anyway, that is all the advice 
questions, situations and topics that I was asked about. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope that anything I said in this video will help someone out there. Do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe to my channel down below. I'll leave all of my social media and everything else down below as well if you want to go follow me on anything there. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!